What are some of the dark aspects of entrepreneurship? At 1 p.m. on a Tuesday, we began our board of directors phone call. It feels like a movie. Barry, our chairman of the board, starts talking, let me bring everyone up to date on where we are at. In separate phone calls Monday evening, both Gil, one of our investors, and Brett spoke with Robbie, one of our new investors. Robbie indicated they were pulling their term sheet. Based on the fact the company is out of cash and with no other options available, we have no choice but to, in my opinion, sell the company. The words go through me like a lightning bolt through the heart. As each board member says yes to each resolution, except for me, you can't kill yourself, so I abstained makes me feel like I've been shot. In fact you can just about hear the gunshots. Mercifully, the meeting ends. I should have holes in my clothes from the bullets I just took. Eight years of my life over in an instant. I got to live my dream. I was successful, and the company was successful. We found five investment groups, five, that signed term sheets, and yet here we are. This just should not be happening. We had the money raised. We overcame pure evil to get there. To have this happen at the last second is just unbelievable. That's the first ugly truth about entrepreneurship, you can do everything right and still not have a great outcome. There are no guarantees that just because you have a great idea, a great team, a great product or service, and ever-increasing revenue that you will have the outcome you want. Startups are fragile. Any one thing can send you into a death spiral. For example, the end market dynamics change and your product stops selling. Or maybe your co-founder and CTO leaves right before you were supposed to close funding. Or maybe the economy goes into a tailspin. You get the idea. Anything at any second, especially early on, can be the difference in the fate of your company. This leads to the second ugly truth about entrepreneurship. One small little thing or decision can be the difference between success and failure. We'll be okay as long as, Raul, doesn't die, I told my friend and mentor Dave. Raul was in his late 70s when we closed our $12 million Series A. Dave nodded his head in agreement. You'll need him for about the next three years, he said sagely. I often wondered why Raul, a billionaire, was still a VC. He was running a very prominent fund on Sand Hill Road only to get booted by his partners. Why didn't he just retire instead of joining, Donald Ventures? He wasn't going to be the top dog anymore. The top dog was going to be another billionaire, Donald. But whatever his reasons were, I was glad he was still in the game. We had 63 VCs pass on investing in us including Donald Ventures twice, when we were raising our Series A funding. There weren't many places left to go, so I was thrilled that Raul was excited by what we were doing. Vicious amounts of sacrifice. If we consider only money, which is what most people think of when considering entrepreneurs, as a measure of success we find various degrees of entrepreneur that lie upon a spectrum. The family man who runs a hot dog stand on Wall Street, to the e-commerce kings and queens peddling their mercantile, to the millions of lives, saving plumber just squeaking out a living. As you sacrifice more to the altar of success you will find certain types of entrepreneurs leveling up to ungodly wealth and success. Here in no discernible order are some truly disgusting ways entrepreneurs who decide to sacrifice all and climb the mountain of success. Disgusting because many of the listed items define what it means to be human. To sacrifice the listed items on your journey to wealth attainment means to kill off a little of yourself. Inch by inch, second by second. Family, it is truly a shame to find many wealth-seeking entrepreneurs who cast aside familial connections in their quest for wealth or fame. Frequently the older business owner reflecting upon their lives regrets not devoting more time to their loved ones, if they have any. Time, working 70 to 90 hours a week leaves little room for anything else other than normal human bodily functions. Health, ever hear of the businessman or woman who died from a heart attack? The number of people died by heart attack due to excessive work is so large it could repopulate France. Compassion, to effectively reach the summit of any entrepreneurship endeavor you must walk on the bones of your enemies even sometimes your friends. Money bears no credence to the niceties of human to human love, empathy and benevolence. 
Morality, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, Aeneid. When it comes to sacrificing everything then sacrificing your own soul takes the ultimate prize of the truly disgusting sacrifice. When you sit on your mountain of gold, your vanquished enemies lie strewn on the battlefield, your family have all but disowned you it is then you will contemplate if it was all really worth it. It is paralyzing to ponder when your soul has been consumed or sold to empty promises, was the sacrifice worth it?